house crew. Hi. Hey. So good to meet you. How you doing? Wonderful rainy night for yes. a premiere. Well, at least we're inside and there's a tent. If we were doing this in London, there'd be no tent. There would just be someone with a very small umbrella that wouldn't actually work. Wow. So, being at the Zig Field, at least we have a tent. In the yeah, room. we have yeah. a tent. That's great. Yeah. So, how familiar were you with the story of Wallace and Edward before making the film? This is embarrassing if I tell you that I, I really didn't know very much about them at all. I mean, I, I, I sort of vaguely knew who they were, but I'd never, I don't think I'd ever had a conversation about it. You know, the idea that the King of England abdicated the throne not that long ago is something that I, when I read the script, I thought, I, I should know more about this than in fact I, I did. But anyway, now we have two hours to tell the story, which is great. Well, I mean, you talk about this love affair. Why was the love between Wallace and Edward? Why does it stay current? Why are we still interested? Well, I think there's a complexity of is it dereliction of duty? This man who gave up the throne, the king of England, who stopped being the king because he was so in love with somebody, because he was so completely small minded about being with her. And he was told by the Prime Minister that he could not do both. And so he felt he had no choice but to go with the woman. And that is either the greatest dereliction of duty or it's the most wonderful romance of all time. And I think people talk about, you know, that's not going to be answered in this film or for a long time to come. There are books and books and books been written on it. It's just a great, it's a great debate. And the, the film is so beautifully crafted. I mean, talk about Madonna to detail, just to right, well, I mean, uh, attention to detail is unlike anything I've ever encountered. Half the props in the film come from her house. It's kind of amazing, like, she really was part of every decision that was made, and not, you would expect the director to be part of the big decisions, but maybe leave some of the smaller decisions, you know, not be part of that, but she was interested in every detail, which, you know, I feel somebody's going to make a film. If you're going to be a filmmaker, well, then that's your that's that's what the piece of art that you give to the world. And I think that she's really done that. And talk about being able to work with Andrea. You guys work so beautifully together. Right. Well, it was it was easy with Andrea because from the minute we met, it felt like we were partners in crime. And, and that's, I think, how they felt together most of their lives. I mean, you know, they spent most of their lives, they were joined in the hip, they had no choice. But there was a funny thing that happened. As soon as I met Andrea, it just felt easy and like it was us against the world. So, it was great work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks very much.